Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Okay, dear listeners, now we are going to perform step number two for our uh, RNA sec differential expression pipeline. This step uh, is called uh, quality checks. So, uh, in the previous step, we have uh, performed the trimming of our uh, Pashmina goat one and Pashmina two fast Q files. So similarly, at the same time, I have also performed the trimming with the Burberry and the trimming with the uh, Sun and Goat. So the next step is to check the quality of the sequencing. So we will uh, use Burberry uh, uh, as an input file uh, for this step. So when we perform, when we performed. Uh, trimming so we obtained uh, two files like uh, like uh, burberry one trimmed file similarly burberry one untrimmed file similarly uh, on the other hand uh, as far as the reverse uh, strand is concerned so this is uh, burberry one skin reverse trimmed and untrimmed so this is what we can check the quality of our sequences so uh, we will check the quality of the trimmed files only because these are the processed files and we will check the quality of the sequencing uh, by using uh, trimmed file as our input so in this step for the quality checks there are uh, so many softwares available uh, available but uh, what we are using here is a fast QC so I have already installed it that is this for uh, software that is called fast QC similarly there is another folder that is uh, there is another uh, software that is called multi QC so you can use uh, whatever uh, the, uh, available to you so as far as our this step is concerned I am using fast QC so as the previous step as in the previous step uh, we downloaded uh, uh, the trimomatic software so here we will first download and install fast qc software so as usual you have to go to the uh, search engine and just uh, write down download fast qc so normally i used i use uh, the link that is having some rating stars so let's open this software page and uh, here you can find the download link so there are two ways you can uh, download uh, the fast qc software by direct clicking you mean when you just uh, click here so this software will be downloaded into your download folder alternatively you can just right click here copy link address and then go to the terminal and uh, just write wget and then paste the link you have copied okay so when you just enter it so it will uh, 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 download and install uh, fast QC into your uh, present working folder that is RNSEC analysis so in the same way I have already downloaded and installed the fast QC when that uh, will be successfully installed so you can uh, uh, look into uh, your folder that uh, that folder is present into your uh, uh, working folder so just remove it and the later on if uh, uh, there is a problem in installing you can use a second command that is called sudo opt install fast qc but this command you will run when you when your working folder will be fast qc so i have to go to fast qc folder first cd fast qc so 
I'm going to in this folder so here just look into it that what are the different contents and different files that is present in this folder ls minus lh so there are all these files are available in it so this is what you can download and install uh, your fast qc so let me clear all things first and uh, go back okay so i am again in this folder from where we started so all your files are here and in this folder there is another folder that is called fast qc so first of all you have um, if you want to open this folder the, uh, this software you have to go into this folder so let me go like why i'm saying this one because when you just trying to open the fast qc here when you are in the rnsec analysis folder the fast qc software is not going to be open like uh, let's try dot slash fast qc so it is saying that uh, there is no such uh, software uh, and not a directory is uh, present here so to open the fast qc you have to go to the fast qc folder and then you will write this command over there so let me go to this folder let me go to into this folder first cd so make sure that you are writing the same name of the folder like this the bash commands are case sensitive if you write f small so that will not uh, work properly so i want to go into this folder so enter it yes i am in this folder now and here i can open the fast qc like dot slash and fast qc so when i enter it so it will open the software yes so this is a graphical user interface so it will appear like this way so now we will upload our files and we will check the quality of these files so go into the files open and my files are my these files are in media so i have to track so i have to trace these files so these files are present in the media then russia then a data and then rnsec so these files are over there so i have to go into the media first so let me go back in uh, rashid there is a folder okay not here so let me go back so home so here is the media like that is on a root and in root there is media then there is a rashid and then this is name of my hard drive so when i will open it and my files are in rnsec analysis okay so now i can access all these files here so i want to check the quality of uh, burberry 1 skin forward trimmed file and similarly i will check the burberry 1 skin reverse trimmed files so i selected these two files and it will apply the different uh, it will apply the different uh, you can say um, it will check the quality of each file one by one so let's open it okay so this is the uh 
screen that uh, that will appear and uh, you can look into it that uh, the analysis has been started on Burberry skin trimmed file so there are so the 5% is done so in the same way you can look into the the progress of the of this software at the end of uh, uh, at the end of the in this job uh, it will automatically start the second file so I will be back when it will be done and uh, then explain you the different uh, parameters there are around about uh, seven to eight different uh, quality checks of the files so in the meantime I will give you a little bit uh, introduction like uh, this is uh, the quality checks of the files that we obtained uh, directly from the sequencing uh, platform so our this sequencing uh, uh, was done uh, uh, this sequencing may be done with the pack bio or uh, you can say the ONT uh, technology or it may be with the Illumina so mostly used technology uh, is from the Illumina so <clears throat> there are different machines in the Illumina that uh, are in the market and the people are doing their sequencing on these machine the, the previous one was the MySec then there was a HiSec uh, and now the latest version of the Illumina sequencer is called uh, NovoSec 6000 so when you will done with the sequencing uh, you will obtain the FastQ files and the FastQ files in our pipeline we ran first the uh, trimming that uh, trimmed our sequences uh, and uh, that in the sequence those uh, who are not uh, passing the quality checks uh, that were untrimmed so uh, finally we obtained the trimmed sequences so these trimmed files now uh, we expect these uh, files are having a good quality of sequence and uh, the sec in the second point we are going to check physically uh, that what are the quality uh, quality points and uh, this is what we are going to uh, analyze now so I will let you know when it will be completed and we will be back to explain the quality checks <coughs> the quality checks of our this file that is Burberry 1 skin forward trimmed is done and it took almost uh, 5 to 8 minutes with this file and uh, automatically this screen will uh, appear and uh, it is showing you that it was the it's, it's a basic statistics and all these things are performed and all these quality checks were performed by the fast QC on our, on our given input file so it's a file name this was the file name this was the file type and this was the total sequences that is under thousand and million so that was 55 million five hundred and two thousand eight hundred and thirty two sequences were uh, checked those were present in this file and the sequence length was 2 to 150 and uh, the GC contents uh, were 52 percent so let's go into the next so this is what very important chart graph you whatever you can call it so it is showing you that these are the red regions then the yellow region and then there is a green region so you can look at it here that uh, our mostly sequences are in green area so this is what you can have uh, an idea that uh, there are the average sequence like in this way and there are two whiskers one is uh, the lower side 
and one is on the upper side sometimes these are also called outliers so uh, this is the quality score and uh, this is the position or uh, the position in reads base pair so it is showing that whatever the sequences like uh, 55 million uh, 502,832 that what I have already told you these are the sequences and uh, their uh, length as uh, that was also communicated in the basic statistic that is from 2 to 150 so it is showing that 150 is the length of uh, average length of uh, the sequences and mostly you can see that uh, our sequences are fall in the green region and this green region is a uh, uh, is the region where the FRED score that is starting from 28 to 40 so this FRED score is the quality score and our sequences are uh, are in a green region and we expect that most of our sequences they are even having the FRED score greater than 80 so their lower outliers uh, even their lower outliers are in a green region so we can expect that our regions are of a good quality now after trimming and uh, that uh, that is what we want to know that what is the quality of our reads so these are the read if you want to uh, go into the details so when we sequence the genome uh, first we uh, fragmentize our uh, whole genome what we call sonication so in which we randomly um, fragmentize our whole genome and uh, at the end there is uh, a size selection for the library preparation so in that uh, process uh, uh, we select uh, uh, around about uh, the each each uh, fragment is of a 150 base pair because this fragmentation process is a very random you might have uh, the chances to get uh, uh, smaller sequences and even the larger sequence from the 150 but the 150 that is what we have selected that the 150 base pair is a is is of a very optimal size of the uh, sequence length uh, so we selected the sizes of all the fragments that is around 150 so that is also showing in this graph and the quality score is uh, uh, even uh, um, greater than 40 but all sequences are in our green region so if our sequences are in a yellow region that is not good sequencing quality and uh, if that falls into the red color that is of a bad quality so this is the second parameter that is called per base sequence quality so this is another criteria third one is a per base quality score so let's see into it like it's showing that that this is a mean sequence quality that is also called a FRED score and uh, uh, it is showing that average quality per read average quality per read is greater than 39 so this is what we can look into the previous graph as well but here it is showing that the average quality of our all fragments that is called sequence reads so the sequence read quality average quality is around 40 41 so that is considered to be a very good quality uh, so I mean this is the information we can also look into it so then I think the per base sequence content so in the middle in the start of the sequencing the we can uh, look into the noise and uh, then there is smooth uh, that is showing that our sequences are uh, having a uh, but something I feel that uh, uh, 
something looks not good here because the sequencing quality of the like uh, here is a GC so the red would be here on this line so uh, the good quality that if your G and C of your G and C nucleotides will be uh, in a same proportion similarly A and T would be in a same proportion but here I think that is not good that's why it's a uh, uh, cross it this software cross it similarly let's go into the next one that is per sequence GC contents so the per sequence GC con mean GC contents are mean GC contents are around 57 57% so this is what another criteria okay let's go into the next one per base n contents so per base n contents this red line shows that there is n contents almost zero so that is a good sequences that there should be no n what we expect that there should be no n in our sequences so it is showing that there is almost uh, zero n in our sequences so sequence length distribution that is also sequence length that is also showing that our sequences are from 150 to 151 then the sequence duplication level so here is the sequence duplication level then over represented sequences there is no over represented sequences and then there is the adopter sequences okay so these are the adopter sequences uh, when we sequenced and when we make uh, the library for the sequencing so we add uh, uh, adopter sequences uh, we add tagging ta uh, tagging sequences and then we add uh, adopter sequences and complementary to those adopter sequences the primers attach attach over there and they will amplify our fragment so because that adopter sequences are not part of the genome so this software also gave us the information that uh, uh, how many and which uh, different types of the adopter sequences are over there because this software is have uh, having uh, the information of the different adopter sequences uh, which are being used with the different companies like Illumina universal adopters this fast QC software knows what are the sequences of that uh, company so what this uh, Illumina company uses uh, the adopter sequences so it has uh, uh, position in read lengths so almost there is uh, uh, there is a zero adopter sequences because this line is a parallel to the zero but at the end there is something uh, some adopter sequences are there and these adopter sequences are belongs to Illumina universal adopter because that is in a red color and this that is also in a red color while the solid small RN adopters are zero because that is purple and that is also purple so this is how you can uh, <coughs> uh, look different uh, quality checks parameters so this is the this is how we can uh, use uh, fast QC so let's go into the other file so I think that is also done and uh, in the same way you can also check its quality so its sequences the, the total sequences which were uh, checked is uh, 55 uh, million 502,832 five, sequences so that is also the same and uh, you can check uh, its uh, different parameters there like that what we check in the previous sequence so this is how you can check uh, the qualities of your sequencing and uh, this is how the second step is done with and uh, we will go into the next step see you later thank you